everyone, it's Hannah and welcome to day nine of Vlogmas. Today is Wednesday, the 7th of December. I hope that you are well. Bit of a later start to Vlogmas today. Hair's a frizzy mess because I'm letting it dry naturally because I've not done that with this haircut yet. So I thought I would to see how it does. Um, frizzy mess with a, with a bit of curl, a little bit. Might have to get the straighteners on it later, but that's okay. Um, yes, it's currently 20 past 12, I know. So I edited yesterday's vlog, which was a long video. I apologize for how long it was. I clearly, having though a week of not chatting with you made me very chatty, so yes. Plus I did actually did do quite a lot yesterday. I put some oil in my hair to make it a bit thicker. Uh, and rosemary oil is apparently a thing, and sat editing the video all morning, waiting for my parcels to be picked up. They have not been picked up, and that, you know what, that's okay. Um, it's a beautiful day today, there's not a cloud in the sky. I was going to have a bit of a lighter day work-wise today anyway, because yesterday was quite intense, and I can't go full force too many days in a row, otherwise um, I tire myself out, and then have to have a day where I do nothing at all. I don't know, it's just how my brain works. Um, but video is edited. I'm going to walk to the parcel post box because it's such a nice day out. I've got some new nail varnishes. Did I need them? No, but I saw them and they're beautiful. And this one is white with sparkles, which I think might be a good choice for... Let's unwrap it. I love an indie nail polish. They're a little pricier than buying like from a normal shop nail polish. But you know, I love to support local. Uh, this is Snow, and this is from Faber Nostalgia. I don't know, she's, she is German, but I don't know if it's Nostalgia or Nostalgia, because she lives in the UK. Um, but it's, I, I only get mini ones, because that makes them a little bit cheaper. But I just thought this white nail polish will be, it's got sparkles in it, which means it's going to be a pain in the foot to take off, but will go on my really short nails very nicely. So I might do that today. Bit spot of knitting. And yeah, plan out some future videos, plan out some um, what stitch markers I want to take to East Anglia Yarn Festival, could get a head start on making those. Just a day where I'm not doing an awful lot. And then tomorrow, um, Thursday, the plan is to dye up some yarn, so. I mean, I'm not going to be able to show you the process of me dyeing yarn. Maybe I can in black and white, because I'm dyeing up the Mystery Yarn Club. Um, which, I mean, I've done this on Patreon loads. I've just kind of black and white, it, made it black and white when um, I needed to do it. So maybe that's what I'll do. I've got a very itchy hand today. I think I've got very dry skin. Essentially, I'm falling apart a little bit. But luckily, we've got hand cream everywhere, because my husband has the driest hands in the world from being in and out of water all day and then in and out of flour all day. So we've got more hand cream than we know what to do with in this household. Because um, it needs to be everywhere, otherwise he doesn't use it and he always forgets to put it on it. So yeah, that is the plan for today. We're starting out with a nice jaunt down to the parcel post box and then I'm gonna come back and make myself some lunch. Because I think that will be delightful. Might pop into the car on the way home, grab myself a bag of crisps. I just fancy some crispies today. I'm in a crispy mood. Um, and yeah, we've got a Christmas jumper on. We've got red lip stain on today. We're trying lip stain over lipstick. We'll see how it does. And yeah, we're trialing something different. Right, okay, cool. Video is currently uploading. Let's go to the parcel post box and take all those parcels that weren't collected. So, my house is actually the opposite way to the way that I'm walking, but there's a roundabout up there and this road is awful to cross. So dangerous. So I've got to walk five minutes this way to cross the road, to walk five minutes back up because uh, it's better to do that than it is to get squashed by a car. But hey ho, such is life. <laughs> I am now 
back. My sister, in a Black Friday sale, bought me a crimpet. <laughs> I've tried to use this twice and it has not been successful either way or either time, but we're attempting a third time. Woo! What it is, it's a way to make a toasted sandwich with a toasted sandwich machine without using a toasted sandwich machine. It uses these thins, like the thin bread, like the non-bread, like Mario hates these. I mean, they do the job, thins, you know, thins. And then the, the thing is, is you put one in here and then you fill it with whatever it needs to be filled with. I'm doing bean and cheese today, I'm so excited. So you pop that in there and then you put your filling in and then you pop the other one on the top and then you pop the lid on and it's meant to squish all the edges together and make your own little pocket like a fake Greg's but not with pastry with bread and then you can pop it in the toaster but I might put it in the air fryer instead because if I don't seal it properly which is what's happened the last few times it won't matter will it really um but we're gonna give that a go today that is what the plan is Fingers crossed this works. You know, these are these the inane things that I'm sharing with you. Not sponsored in the slightest. Crimp it, if you want to sponsor me, I'd love it, but I'm not. Um, but we're giving it a go today. They have some recipe suggestions, sweet ones or healthy ones. Those are the two options. There's no unhealthy savory, it's either healthy or sweet. But yeah, I'm gonna get the air fryer out. I'm gonna find my tin of beans. I'm gonna keep an eye on my cat who has just arrived, because she can hear that I'm in the kitchen because it's lunchtime, because it's half past one, because where has this day gone so far? I don't know. I won't lie, baked beans are a staple of my lunches. I love baked beans. I think they're amazing. We get the Branston ones. They've recently had a rebrand. Did they need it? No, probably not. But um, I eat them almost every day for lunch. And some people are disgusted by baked beans. You know what? That's okay. Yeah, Miso agrees. More for us, there's more for us. They love baked beans as well. They don't eat baked beans, but I've seen them lick a bowl before. They know cheese is going to be coming at some point. That's why they're out here now. Too much cheese. I've done too much. There's too much filling in my crimp pit. How am I going to do this? There wasn't even that much cheese. She says as she puts more cheese on. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. Hopefully that's done it. How do I get it out? Oh, it might have worked. It might have worked. It might be sealed. Right, I need to heat up the air fryer because I didn't. I didn't do that. I didn't. I didn't heat it up. You know what? Cheese hasn't quite melted enough, but like the, the bread is cooked. So next time, lower temperature. That's pretty good. I'm excited. I'm excited. Thanks, Crimpit. Hey folks, so lunch has been had. Lip stain has been reapplied because it comes off when I eat. These are things that I'm learning. I love how I look in red lipstick, but I just have to learn how to live with it because I'm not, I'm not used to having to like look at my face through the day, like reapply lipstick or reapply anything, but um, that's fine, it's a learning curve. Also, I have curly hair. It's, it's a slight wave, but hey, that's exciting. And sure, it looks terrible at the minute, but you know, what, whatever, whatever. So I thought that I would do Advent time um, because it's very exciting and I love Advent time. And I'm going to put the kettle on and I thought today's tea might be one that I want, but I've just dropped the box on the floor. It's not a flavor that I like, but I do have an almost brother-in-law who does like it, so it will be gifted forward. 
I have three advent calendars. Well, I've got five advent calendars. I'm opening three of them. Um, I have the Chromatic Yarns advent calendar. It's my own hand-dyed yarn. It's all dyed in colors inspired by Dungeons and Dragons. I have the Cast Through Yarns advent calendar, which is a lovely fade through various mermaid colors. And then I also have the Burn and Blend Tea Advent Calendar, which was gifted to me by Burn and Blend. And I have affiliate links in the description box below. I also have links to um, Jen's page if you like her style of yarn dyeing. Description box, there's a lot of information down there. I don't know if anyone ever checks it. I'm gonna start out with the Chromatic Yarns Advent Calendar. <laughs> hey, bub. Yes, it, you scratch your scratching post. We're into some greens. Uh, this is, please excuse the cat scratching. Uh, this is Acid Splash. And it's just fun, greens, neons, bit of yellow. I love this one, it's so fun. It's so fun. Someone messaged me on Instagram and said, was it intentional or do you have a bit of a fade going on in your advent? And well, it's not so much an intentional fade as when I was choosing the colours and putting them all together, I intentionally put them next to each other as opposed to in previous years, I've intentionally put opposite colours next to each other. Um, but yeah, I've just, I saw that a lot of people were just putting them together in some kind of gradient anyway, so I thought, well, I'll just do that for you. Um, hey, it's fun to mix it up sometimes. But yes, that is Acid Splash, which is a spell in D&D, &D, I believe. I don't think it's a cantrip. I can't remember. Next up, we have day nine of Castle View Yarns and a cat that is the Zoomies. She's found the Ikea bag that the parcels were in. So this name is Isla Crystal Reef. Ahaha. So we're still in the bluey purples. This looks very similar to yesterday's. I mean, it's a fade, it's going to. So yes, this is Isla Crystal Reef and it's it's super pretty, super pretty. I think it's a bit l paler than yesterday's. Stunning, stunning. Oh, I love it. And then last up, we have the Bird and Blend, which I've already seen the name of because I dropped the box on the floor. Day nine, day nine, over here, focus over here, thank you. Do, 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 do. Irish cream, Irish cream. I feel like Irish cream had a different name before. I think it was called Fairy Tale of New York. But has been now been renamed. So it's coffee, uh, chocolate coffee and sweet vanilla. I'm imagining it's meant to be like an Irish coffee. Um, but yes, not so much my taste palette and it's a real boss tea. You can tell because the label is red. The black teas have a black tea, have a black label. And then, yeah, they all have different labels depending on what tea it is. So the red one's a real boss. Because it's a red bush tea, it makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I will be gifting this onwards. Real boss cocoa shells, coffee beans, roasted dandelion root and natural flavoring. I suppose I could give it a go in all fairness, but that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna pop the kettle on. I've only had one tea today. Oh, so let's, uh, let's go make a cup of tea. I think I need one. list of stitch markers I want to take with me to East Anglia. I'm struggling. I'm struggling to know what to take because I want to take different ones to last year because last year ones that I thought would sell didn't sell. The reign of the unicorn is over. Uh, unicorns do not sell well for me anymore. Sloths don't sell as well as they did so I don't know whether to retire them so they're not on the list. And yeah, finding it difficult to know what to make. I think that's what the problem is with the fact I haven't done many shop updates this year. 
is that I've just kind of fallen off what people want and yeah people don't know what they want unless you show them so it's kind of difficult to know because I ask what people want to see and then they can't tell me what they want to see because they don't know what they want to see because they haven't seen it but I'm just gonna take it I'm, I'm taking eight different colors of berries because be pff, I don't know if berries are still going to be popular in March but people like the berries so I may as well take some with me and if they're done they're done that's fine dragons did really well last time so I'll take some of them um, and then yeah I'm just trying to mix up the ones that I have the ones that, I that I'm taking people have asked for more 3D stitch markers the thing is is I don't create come on in are you coming out oh big you on lady friend um, I don't create my own patterns for some stitch markers. A lot of my stitch markers, I use patterns that other people have made, just because the time it ta the time it takes to create a pattern uh, is vast. And also, I don't. Oh, hello. I, d I other people have great talents in that department. I'm not saying I don't have talents in that department, but other people have better talents in that department. Here's a miste. Hello. You need to be a stitch marker, don't you, bub? So I'll t make and take some miso and kimchi stitch markers. Kimchi is just going to be black. It's just a black, no, we're staying off the table. Black outline of a cat with eyes. That is what kimchi will be. And a miso will be the fun one because she's got fun face. Hmm? She really wants to climb on the table right now. I'm being annoying. Yeah, you go over there, that would be nice. Um, but yeah, it's difficult to know what to take, so, yeah, I might have a look for some 3D beading patterns. I know someone that's done quite a few tutorials, but I need to check whether I can sell the things I make from the tutorials, or send her a message and ask if I can buy the pattern off her so I can sell it. Um, I don't know what her, what her deal is with that. I apologise, I've just had a really big yawn. I honestly don't know where the time has gone, where the day has gone. It's ten past three. I feel exhausted. I think I'm coming down with something. I've I've been I've felt ropey, a little bit ropey all day. I went to, when I went to bed last night, I did not feel a hundred percent. So I don't know if I'm coming down with something. I think I jinxed myself yesterday by saying that I hadn't had a cold in a really long time. So I think I've jinxed myself. Okay, it's time. I'm gonna watch a terrible Christmas film. I've not watched one in in ages now. Three weeks. Three weeks, I think. Um, I'm going to watch Hot Chocolate Christmas. Colette and a dessert shop owner get heated about a hot chocolate recipe. I'll fill you in on what I think. I'm going to do it while painting my nails. I'm going to like try and file them round, and so I stop biting them because the only thing that stops me biting them is having nail varnish on. So I'm going to put nail varnish on. Um, they're going to look ridiculous for ages. They're going to look ridiculous for Christmas Day, and you know what? That's fine that's fine but it's a little bit chilly but I'm going to paint my nails and uh, watch this terrible Christmas film that is what I'm going to do okay we have a film update we have a film update premise premise of the film I'm 30 minutes in it feels like way longer <laughs> it's really bad no one can act it's a really good time premise of the film lady owns a cafe has an amazing secret hot chocolate recipe Guy opens up a dessert shop next door, also sells coffee and hot chocolate and sweet treats just like she does. I don't know why he thought that was a good idea. His hot chocolate recipe, exactly the same as hers, she thinks, we don't know. Um, all a bit suspicious, but um, nails are painted. They look ridiculous. Also, it's so much harder painting short nails than my nice long nails. I miss them. But yeah, 30 minutes in gonna be a struggle I've got an hour and 23 minutes left how is this film so long this is it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough one to get through I won't lie so the film has ended um oh I'm just boiling boiling the kettle to fill up my hot water bottle because it's gone very cold and it's only me in the house well and the bubs but they're snuggled up so I'm trying to avoid putting on the heating turns out it was the same hot chocolate recipe spoiler alert spoiler alert it picked up a little bit, but it was still pretty horrendous. Um, his his dessert shop burnt down. It was called Sweet Pastries. What a terrible name. What a terrible name. Um, but that, that burnt down. How sad. That's, it ha that's the film. 
they fell in love. They decided to knock down the wall between their two uh, shops so he could still be selling pies whilst um, doing work on his side of the building. Um, so they knocked the wall through. So it would just be one big shop and they fell in love. And I feel like someone you've not known that long because they were going to a Christmas thing at the start, which is where they met. And his pastry shop had only been open about two weeks before the fire. And so they've known each other about three weeks and now they're going into business together. You see, that feels like a terrible idea because when the relationship inevitably um, fails because they've known each other three weeks, it's either that or they, they fell in love at first sight and that's lovely and fine. And maybe I'm being cynical. But um, seems a bit foolish to me to be making grand plans about having a business together after knowing each other for three weeks. Can I just sell you on dungarees for one more thing? Not only does it not feel like you're wearing, like, uncomfy trousers because there's no waistband, but you can tuck in your hot water bottle and carry it around like it's a baby. Overbalanced. I have a table in my way. But, oh, this is delightful. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is a great idea. Good evening. I have a bub behind me. She is fed. The other one is looking out the window. They've all knocked over the cards I put up there. Thanks, bubs. Yeah. It's not been the productive day I wanted it to be today. Well, it wasn't even going to be that productive a day. It was going to be quite a light day, but I was going to get lots done. And I feel like I haven't got lots done. So... But those parcels have gone. That video took me ages to edit. I'm snuggling a hot water bottle. It's not really doing the job. It's not warm enough anymore. But it should be. It's a little bit. It's quite a thick cover on it. So, don't know. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to get more done today. Just wanted to do a bit more. Um, I wanted to plan out a couple of videos. I wanted to um, uh, oh, s try and sort out some colour palettes for the new collection because I really want to start working on that. Once clubs have shipped out and I've shut my shop, I really want to dye up a few colourways for the new collection that is hopefully coming end of January, but who knows? Um, I mean, I should, really. But, and maybe... You know, just think about my business next year is what I was going to do today, but then I haven't because I watched that hot chocolate Christmas film and I can't remember what it was called. And editing the video took so long that um, it didn't happen, which is fine. So I'm also contemplating, and I would like your feedback on this, switching up the Young Club next year. For the last four years, I have done the Nitical Roll Yarn Club. I have done campaign one for a year, I did campaign two for two years, and then campaign three I've done for a year. And I don't know whether it's time to retire the Nitical Roll Yarn Club, at least temporarily, um, and bring in a new mystery club, or I do the um, Vox Machina animated series yarn club, that could be fun, the, th the problem I'm having with the Nitty Crawl Young Club, I'm really enjoying doing it, like, so much. I remember season one, campaign one, so much more than two and three. I really am struggling to come up with themes for campaign three, which I don't know why. I feel like I shouldn't. We're like, so we're o over a year into it now, and I feel like I'm really struggling, um to come up with ideas month by month. I, f I don't know, is anyone else feeling this with campaign three? I feel like like 
nothing that, that big has happened yet. We've had lots of little things trickling through, but nothing, there's no key moments that are like standing out in my brain unless I've just forgotten them all, um, which is also likely because I'm often bead weaving while I'm watching it. Um, and they're so long, there's only so much attention span I can hold. But yeah, I, maybe it's just me. If it's just me, I'd love to hear your suggestions for colourways. If it's not just me, I might switch it up. Obviously it would still be D&D &D themed because that is what my yarn is. I'm thinking like a mystery monster club or um, oh, I could do a mystery spell book club. That would be cool, but monsters would be really cool. Um, or stuff like that, you know? I don't know. But I think it might be time to switch it up just a, just a little bit. And I think going to monsters is a good stepping stone. Because so I've done a few colourways inspired by monsters before, but um, yeah, I'd obviously do different ones that I haven't done before. But just let me know what you think of that idea, or um, if you love the Nitic Royal Yarn Club and you don't want it to go anywhere, I would like some suggestions of future colourways. Um, and I can't use the names of any characters. But, um, yeah. That would be nice. Because I know I haven't done Mister yet. I never did Sprinkle, in all fairness. Um, I almost did a few times, and I came out with other ones. I just feel like Campaign 3 hasn't hasn't had the amazing moments that Campaign 2 did with like Traveller Con and then the moment with the hag and then what other colourways have I done? I've done loads of colourways. <laughs> I don't know. But there also won't be a young club in January because I am visiting the south and then visiting Sicily, going to see my in-laws and then we're coming back on in mid-January at some point. I can't actually remember the date. Um, so I don't think I'd be able to get them dyed up and shipped out. Because I like to get them shipped out in the, like, the middle of the month. But I guess I could ship them out at the end of the month. But I like to do it in the middle of the month because in theory you should have the yarn in your hands by the time the next ones go on sale. But actually, who knows. Uh, but that is what I like to happen. So yeah, I don't think there'll be one in January. So uh, that's going to be a bit of a shock to the bank account. That's okay, that's what savings are for. That's what savings are for. Um, but yeah, that is what I am contemplating at this very moment. And then some of this year's, not all of them, because they're all, they're exclusives, but some of them get put into the shop the year after. So um, I'll be dying some up to bring to East Anglia Yarn Festival with me, which I think will be really fun. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll stop chatting at you now and leave you to get on with your day, evening, night, afternoon, morning, depending when you're watching this. Um, yes, because I've taken up enough of your time. I don't know how much, how long this video is, is today. I feel like I haven't done anything. It's a weird, it's been a weird, bit of a weird day, but that's okay. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry, it's just been a lot of me chatting. Yes, if you would like to subscribe, that would be delightful. I'm posting here every day in the run up to Christmas. But also, I do frequently upload videos and vlogs in normal, non-vlogmas times as well. So if you'd like to stick around because you find my personality somewhat palatable, I would, I would love it if you wanted to subscribe. You could even turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload slash go live. Um, and I'll try and go live a bit more in next year, 2023. Um, yes, give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps me out. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you've been up to today. Um, what did you get in your advent calendar? Please stop scratching the sofa, tiny one. If you're jumping up, jump up. Who captured. She keeps jumping onto the garland on top of the fireplace and eating it. It's not real. It's not a real tree, bub. You're going to get tinselitis. That's how bubs get tinselitis. She's like, I don't care. Just want, just let me eat the plastic. But yes, um, the daily check-in. We love to see it. What have you been up to today? And um, yeah, 
social media, it's all in the description box, along with anything else that I think you might need. And with all that being said, I linked the crimpit in my Amazon storefront if you want the crimpit. There's no pressure, but you know what? It was a lot of fun, very delicious. Would just cook it at a lower temperature next time. The insides weren't quite hot enough, um, but that's my bad. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon <laughs> in tomorrow's video. Oh, I need a nap. I need to go to bed. It's only 10 to 8. What is happening? Bye!